Hello everyone and welcome to the first in a short series of basic flash tutorials. Um, this tutorial will be a motion tween. Um, I'm not going to get too detailed with these tutorials. These are for basic users. So let's just go right ahead and get to it. Um, my, my flash setup here is all the basic default of uh, flash. Everything that you see here is pretty much what, hap what starts up when you open flash. Um, again, you got your toolbar on the left, you got your frames in the top, your work area, your bottom area here just for any sort of shortcuts that you may have. And again, your right side is some more options, kind of like Photoshop. It's pretty much the same setup in a way, minus the fact that you have this uh, frame area up top here. So again, I'm going to do a motion tween here. So I'm just going to get right to it because it's very easy to do. And motion tween is basically flash that is the main part of flash when you're working with basic flash it's all tweens everything's pretty much tweens when you're animating so the first thing I'm going to do is you'll notice that I have a um, layer one is already created and that first frame is empty it's white and there's nothing in it you can see here there's nothing in there it's just a uh, empty frame so with that frame selected I'm just gonna go ahead and, and draw out a rectangle it can be anything it could be a picture uh, a circle it could be anything you want to incorporate into your animation and you'll notice what happens now is that that first frame turns gray and your circle the little circle on the bottom turns black that means there's something in that frame that means that this square is now encompassed in that keyframe and again, these are called keyframes. When you see a little circle at the bottom, that's a keyframe. That means there's something in that frame or there's a significance to that frame. So now what we want to do is we want to animate that frame. We want to animate this box. We want to move it to the right. So all I'm going to do is right click on the 20th frame here and just say insert keyframe. Not insert frame, but insert keyframe. And you'll notice what happens is it draws out that gray box all the way to the new keyframe. And you can just move this keyframe anywhere you want. You'll notice that it's exactly like the first one. So each one of these is a keyframe, right? I'm just going to put it way out here. Why not? So now we have a keyframe at the start and a keyframe at number, well, 36 in this case because I moved it a little farther. Okay? And what that means now is this frame you can leave as is because that's our starting position. But if you left-click on the final frame, the final keyframe, and you move this box over to the right... Now we see here is this keyframe is different from this keyframe. And we already have, we, we already can see our destination. Okay? And all we have to do now to make that animate is right click in between those two keyframes and say create motion tween. And right away, if you've done it correctly, you'll see that a long arrow is created, meaning this keyframe is now moving to this keyframe. And again, that area becomes purple. Okay? And what that did now is if we go back to keyframe one, we can see, and I'm hitting enter here, is we see we've now created a bit of motion. Okay? All we've done is create in motion and move that frame from left to right. Well, I'll move that box from left to right using two keyframes. Real easy. Now, say I wanted to speed that up. I can move this final keyframe by left-clicking it and holding. And so I'm just going to put it right at 10 now. Now, these frames are still there right and there's still that box but they're not going to move they're just it's going to move from this position to this position but a lot faster you'll see what i'm talking about right here see how much faster that was and if you don't want this this continuation afterwards you can highlight all these frames and right click and remove those frames okay so there we go we've moved it faster if i want to move it slower i drag it out i drag it out to even farther so obviously farther is slower right so you can see right away how slow it's going and that's motion tween that's all you need to know uh, for motion tween it's very easy to do again you can drag a picture in there uh, which probably will show up in your library as a bitmap depending on what it is uh, and you can just add that in there and create a motion tween so I'm gonna leave it there for now um, so make sure you comment and subscribe and uh, rate this uh, tutorial uh, and there'll be a few more of these in the future and again, this is for the basic user, so I hope that helped you out.